the best blue agave is grown right here in Jalisco, in the highlands, in this beautiful area of Mexico. For 400 years, the folks around here have harvested the blue agave plant to make one of the world's most popular spirits, tequila. To legally call it tequila, manufacturers need to make it from at least 51% blue agave. These hardy plants are in the lily family and they thrive in the volcanic soil here. Rain is their only source of water and they'll need seven years until they're ready for harvest. Below the earth are the fruit of the agave plant. You can see it right here. This one's already been harvested. This is called the pina and these things are big. When the agave has the right maturity and sugar content, the agave harvesters, or jimadores, come in to do the real work. They use a koa, designed specifically for harvesting the piñas. The jimadores that work this field will harvest three to 400,000 piñas a year, and some of these big piñas will yield up to 12 bottles of tequila. That's a lot of margaritas. Here at the nearby Patron Hacienda, the freshly harvested piñas begin the process which will turn them into a premium clear or silver tequila, perfect for our margarita. Workers chop the piñas into smaller pieces and put them into these big brick ovens, about 20 tons in each one. The agave is allowed to cook in these ovens for about three days. It's a warm, wet heat, kind of like a steam room you'd have at your gym. But this alone isn't gonna make us tequila. We gotta figure out a way to get the juice out of this and into the fermenter. Patron preps the cooked agave two ways for fermentation. The modern way is to run it through a mill to squeeze out the juice. But Patron also uses an ancient method. The mule is gone, replaced by an electric motor. But the tahona, or crushing stone, is the same. The crushing rock releases the juice, which the fibers reabsorb, turning it all into a mash. After a good mashing, both juice and fibers enter a fermentation tank. Meanwhile, the juice from the modern milled mash is getting lively in a separate fermentation tank. Just by looking at it, you can see that it's uh, correct fermentation. So the color is the good? The color is good, and the foam, and just the smell. Oh, yeah. It's very fruity. Yeah, tropical very fruit. fruity. Yeah, beautiful. To remove the alcohol, Francisco's crew distills both fermented mashes in separate large pot stills. And soon, we have two silver tequilas. Both are 110 proof, or 55% alcohol. It's time for bottling. And that's not a soap and water rinse. Nope, to keep the product pure, the bottles are rinsed with, you guessed it, tequila. You know, we should wash all of our dishes at home with tequila too, right? It's no accident that the company logo is a B. Patron employs about 1,600 people here in Jalisco, and the packaging room is a beehive of activity. Before a bottle is shipped, 60 different pairs of hands will touch it. We now have one of the world's premium silver tequilas to go with our Mexican meal. Honest to God, that is delicious. Oh, yeah.